So in this video, we're gonna be having a quick look at the latest version of the Trick software, breaking down some of the pulse centric features. So let's jump into it. First, you have the dashboard, which gives you your listed graphics card specification, as well as some quick overview info. On the right side of the software, you can see the GPU clock speeds, memory clock, GPU temperature, GPU load, and also the GPU voltage. Also on this tab, you can save a report file that lists your current specifications, as well as your current AMD drivers and BIOS version in a text file. And next to that button is the BIOS button, which allows you to save a backup of your BIOS settings in case you want to revert to a previous version of the software at some point. Next is the hardware monitor tab. This lists all the information on your overall card's health just to let you know if anything's going wrong with it, such as memory temperatures, current fan speeds, GPU, power draw, memory voltage, and so on. In this tab, there are no customizable buttons or options to play with. It's just simply a hardware monitor. On the final tab of the Sapphire Pulse is the Trix Boost tab that allows you to downscale multiple resolutions at once using the adjustment slider. This can give you options to gain extra frames per second on your favorite games by roughly 5 to 20%, depending on how much image quality you're willing to sacrifice for performance. Personally, I like to downscale by around 15%. You still get amazingly sharp details, especially when downscaling from 4K, but you get the added benefit of smoother gameplay. Now, if you want to use this particular feature while using a 1080p monitor, first you'll need to turn on the virtual super resolution in the Radeon Adrenaline software. First, open up the menu by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting the AMD software. Then head over to the Gaming tab and then select Global Display. Here you can find the Virtual Super Resolution. This will allow you to set multiple downscaled resolutions in the Trix software. The last option on this tab is the Radeon Image Sharpening tool, which almost has zero performance loss when you turn it on. So you can just leave it on running and forget about it and it's absolutely superb. This nifty little feature adds in those little extra details in your games by using a contrast adaptive sharpening algorithm, helping those subtle details pop out so much more and combining it with a resolution scale in the Trix Boost software, it's a real game changer. The only downside is, is that it won't work for every game out there. Now, if you're also interested in setting custom fan curves for your graphics card, you can do this through the AMD Adrenaline software. To do this, simply load up the software by right-clicking on your desktop or pressing Alt-R on your keyboard. Click on the Performance tab and then find the Sub tab Tuning. Your card will normally be set on automatic here, which I think does a fairly good job for the most part, but if you want your card running cooler quicker, then click on the Manual button and then enable the Fan Tuning. The first adjustable option is the max fan speed. Your fans will automatically ramp up speed the higher your graphics card gets. But once the card hits its maximum temperature threshold, which is default set at 80 degrees Celsius, your card will run at whatever max speed that you've set. The default is set at 45% here, but I've changed the fan speed to 70% to push more air on the card when it needs it. If you want finer control, click on the advanced control menu. Here you can set your fan curves to however you desire. For example, if I change the position to fan speed dial from 12% up to 35, when the card raises its temperature to the position to threshold, which is set at 50 degrees Celsius, the fans will increase the speed to my set speed. You can customize all five positions however you please, and your fans will follow whatever curves you set automatically speeding up or slowing down depending on the temperature of your graphics card. Speaking of fans still, the Quick Fan Connect feature is also available on the Pulse range of cards, making it super easy to clean those difficult areas on your card, but also the ability to quickly replace a faulty fan head without having to send the whole card back to the manufacturer for repairs. Now while the Sapphire Pulse range of cards has some great features on it, it also slims down on a few of the more affluent features such as the ARGB compatibility and the fan health check that are available on the Nitro series. By doing this, Sapphire are able to cut the cost without sacrificing the quality of components or performance. So if you're looking for those extra features on your next graphics card, the Nitro series could be for you.